morning boys and girls. Welcome to SGBC Children's Worship. I'm Auntie Grace and I would like to welcome all of you to join us for worship this morning. Now two weeks ago our church hosted our first online Bible club and a lot of kids come to the Bible club and have a great fun time with uh, um, inventive fussy wake. And they learn a little bit about all things that were made new. So I want to welcome all of those who has participated to join us this morning. So I'd like to welcome Abigail, Ashley and Natalie, Hayden, Corner and Alice, Burton and Clayton, Chelsea and Cleo, Fandy, Haley C and Jody, Haley L and Terrence, JC, Kendrick and Nathan, Joey and Susan, Joyce and Stacy. And the two Caitlin, so we have Caitlin with one end and Caitlin with two ends, Megan, Renee, and Trinity. So welcome you guys to join us for worship this morning. To start our worship, I know that you guys learned a new Bible verse in the Bible Club. So I would like to use this Bible verse as our opening. So do you remember what where it's from? It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. This is what the Bible verse say. Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sins, so that we could be made right with God through Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. So they also learn a new song, and um, Pastor Ayo told me that it's a really fun song to sing. So I would like to sing this song with you this morning. If you are in the Bible Club, you should know the song really well. For those of you who uh, haven't been to the Bible Club, we can learn it together. Okay, so it's called Totally Transform, making us all new. Okay, so let's try the song. Get ready. Start with the word change. Ready, go. Change. Do you see? There is no doubt. Change. Do you see to change? In the heart of me, renew me. From the inside out, renew me. Till there is no doubt that I am yours. I don't want to be, want to be the same. I don't want to play, play the same old game. I'd rather be transformed. Is it a fun song? And I was told that song 
has really good actions and dance too. So maybe later we can uh, learn the actions as well. So since we're so happy to worship God, let's sing the next song. The next song is a song that I really love and it talks about a very simple word called joy. Although the word is simple, to really have pure joy is really hard. So the word joy make up of J, O, and Y. And how do we have joy? We always put Jesus first, J, others second, and yourself last. And that's how you will have joy in your heart. Get ready. It's a really fun song, so sing with a big mouth in your, on your face, okay? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. to share God's word with us. So I'll hand this time to Uncle Kelvin. Well, what are you doing? I'm preparing a children's sermon. For the coming Sunday? Yeah. What is the topic this time? Baby Moses by the river. It is about God's care and protection. Oh, it sounds good. But we all know about the story, right? Yeah, that's where, the, is, that's where the problem is. I've been sitting here for hours, just thinking, where mm -hmm. do I start? Oh, why would a mom put her baby boy in a river? The Egyptian king was trying to kill all the newborn Israelites baby boy. If I were the mom, I would have done the same thing for a better chance of survival. Why would this pharaoh want to do such an evil thing to babies? He, uh, he didn't like uh, there are more Israelite than the Egyptian. So he, um, he think his land will be mm -hmm. taken by the uh, yeah. Israelite. So, right. um, why, 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 why do you want to know? Because I, I think you said you, we all know the story about. I'm just curious. Will you explain to the children about why do Israel live in Egypt? I'm, uh, I'm going to start with uh, some history. Okay. Hundreds of years ago, right. the Israelites moved to Egypt because of Joseph, son of Israel. Uh -huh. He saved Egypt from a seven-year famine. Yeah, I so remember that king, I taught that too. <laughs> yeah. So that the king at that time, the pharaoh at that time, was so nice to the Israelites because of Joseph. Uh -huh. He even let the Israelites yeah. live in Egypt. But after many generations, the new kings no longer knew who Joseph was. They even give the, the Israelites very heavy, hard work, put them uh, as slaves. Yeah, okay, okay. No, that's enough to me. So, but what if the children ask why Moses' mom put the baby 
from one danger into another one. Think about it. She um, she kept the baby for three months already. Um, mm -hmm. If she kept Moses any longer, soldiers may um, would find Moses and probably kill him. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, baby would cry, right? Yeah. Yeah, and mom didn't just throw the baby f into the river. If you <laughs> read the Bible and read the Bible carefully, she make some make not some make a waterproof basket. Waterproof. Whoa. Put the baby in the basket. Right. Right. So the baby Moses was actually floating down the river uh -huh. in a waterproof basket. Waterproof basket. Mm. But Moses was saved because his mom was so smart, I think. That's, uh, I don't think, uh, that's not the point. God's protection is always there. It didn't matter whether Moses' mom was smart or not. If you remember later on, the princess mm -hmm. was the first one who saw the basket. But if the anyone. Princess? The princess, right? Okay. If anyone saw the basket first, Moses would have died. If the princess didn't like Moses, he could have died. That's true. I think, yeah, that's right. I remember I watched that movie about Moses. But baby Moses survived, but it was really sad to see him separate from his mom. Yeah, yeah, it's good you um, you talk about this. I I know which movie you are talking about. I, I actually like that movie a lot. Yeah, I remember that movie too. Yeah, but there are a lot of things that uh, the movie didn't talk about because um, in the Bible. <coughs> like now I think this this is why we we always uh, should read the Bible to confirm mm -hmm. what we read, what we saw, and what mm. we watch. Mm. Now, in the Bible, <coughs> we know God prepared a sister for Moses, a very smart sister. She mm -hmm. was as smart as um, her mom. Yeah. When princess found Moses, she told the princess, I knew someone can take good care of this baby boy. Mm. And that someone was the, uh, the Moses' mom. Right. Okay. Yeah. So and then Moses' mom become a nanny right. of Moses. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think that's um, she. Uh, they were never really separated, like right. um, true. like the movie said. So the mom can be with Moses all the time, right? Uh, uh, until Moses was uh, at a certain age. That's mm. what the Bible said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right. I think that's what we need to understand that that's where God's care was. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty much what you're going to tell the children. Yeah. Children. Yeah. I think you know this Bible story pretty well. Why don't we do it this time? No, you already did a good job. <laughs> bye bye. Baby Moses by the river. We know this Bible story so well, but we may only remember it as a story, but forgot the important message in it. I encourage you to read the Bible again about God's amazing care and protection. Let us end with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this Sunday worship time. We can worship you and listen to your word. We thank you for your care and protection to Moses and to every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Uncle Kelvin and Auntie Kathy, for sharing the story of baby Moses with us. Now, we learned that God protected baby Moses when he was really young, protect him from being killed by the awful king in Egypt, and also protect him so that he can be with his mom when he grows up. You know that God also protects us nowadays, not only back in the days with, uh, to protect Moses, and he loves us and cares for us very much. 
which reminds me of the following Bible verse. So let's share this Bible verse with you. The Bible verse is from Psalms chapter 121. This is what the Bible say. I look up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help come from the Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will keep you from every kind of harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your life no matter where you go, both now and forever. What a reassuring Bible verse, especially during these times when we are trying to uh, control COVID-19, the virus. And I know a, a lot of you may be going back to school really soon. And both your parents and the teachers are trying their very best to make it a very safe place for you guys to go and learn. So hopefully we'll continue to pray. Pray that God will help us to keep us safe, but also pray that God will watch over all the kids who will be returning to school. So let's bow our head and pray and pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So before we end our worship this morning, we have a very special birthday next week. Next Thursday, it's Cleo's 10th birthday. So happy birthday, Cleo. You're turning double digit now and you're growing bigger and stronger each day. And God's love you very much. So happy birthday. Have a wonderful birthday next week. So boys and girls, I hope you have a good time worshiping God this morning. And I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye.